Hello everybody, it's Wyron here with another bit of Total War, Warhammer 2, Quick Magic Gameplay. This time around we are on the map MP Alpine Ridge, and uh, we are playing as the Lizardmen against the Dark Elves. So for my composition, I am going for a very wide, uh, very skink heavy build. just wanted to have a little bit of fun going in against the Dark Elves. I just wanted to try out just bring skink chiefs rather than the usual casters. Generally I will bring a Stegadon, uh, the vanilla Stegadon with a uh, some sort of caster on him, usually the Skink Priest of Beasts, but sometimes I do try some other ones, like Skink Priest of Heavens. I want to try just King's Chiefs. So yeah, I did bring Krakar, of course, on Grimlock, uh, Hand of Gods, uh, the usual lineup of uh, abil abilities, Cold-Blooded, of course, uh, Sacred Bonding of Zotal, Deadly Onslaught, and Swiftness of Etzel. Alongside him, of course, we do have two Skink Chiefs right here on the flank, uh, hoping to get some skirmishing done. They are both mounted on Pterodons, which makes them pretty pitiful in melee. Pterodons are some of the worst air units as far as their melee stats go, but uh, that does give them decent mobility. It means that they can shoot down their enemies, and these guys can do a lot of poke damage over time because they have a lot of ammo. Um, they don't do the greatest damage per hit, but they have, they just have a lot of ammo. They can they can shoot a whole bunch. Uh, they also do have a slight bombardment spell here. They do have uh, slippery in case I need to either get out of dodge or jump into melee for a little bit. And then of course cold blooded uh, on both of them so that they can heal some of my troops. My front line is composed entirely of skin cores with javelins, slightly veteran up. These guys are pretty atrocious, but my hope is that my opponent has brought some of the uh, lower end uh, high uh, dark elf infantry like say dread spears or dark or. Um, either Dread Spears or uh, Bleak Swords, perhaps brought in some Dark Shards that I can flank around and get, uh, get on top of them with the Skink Cohorts. And that's basically why I brought them. They're dirt cheap. They can also they also do a decent amount of damage with their Javelins, surprisingly. Their missile damage isn't terrible. It's, uh, I do believe, they're at 12 and 4, so that's not terrible. With And they can fire off all their projectiles pretty quickly. Behind them, we do have three units of Crocs, of course. These guys are really there to give me the main oomph of this army. They have a good armor piercing, uh, a bonus against infantry. I'm not entirely sure what their exact bonus against infantry is. It is 18, so actually a very solid bonus against infantry. High armor, which should make them tanky against the lower end Dark Elf infantry. Decent mobility, decent HP pool. And of course, I do have a best on with the Revocation Crystal to heal them if needed, also causing Fear Terror, has huge armor. Armor isn't the best of things against Dark Elves, honestly, because they have a lot of armor piercing shooting. They don't really have any, they have very little non armor piercing, but nonetheless, uh, still useful. And then, of course, in the Vanguard, Three units of Chameleon's Kings are ready to kind of get the jump on enemy skirmishing, uh, ready to shut down enemy shades, enemy uh, enemy dark shards, those sorts of things, or poke away at lightly armored units. For my opponent, the, and the battle does start very, very quickly. He brought three units of shades with dual weapons, and we can see they are spaced out over here in the front, backed by a single unit of shades with great swords. Shades, of course, are incredibly potent in melee. They would absolutely trash the Kings. I have done some games with Dark Elves before. Um, it is very, very brutal. That said, they will not trade well with Chameleon Skinks as long as the Chameleon Skinks can stay at arm's length. And with the poison applied, these guys will be pretty slow and pretty susceptible to getting caught and wrecked. My opponent's main army is back here, led by Marathi, uh, backed by a single source of Shadow, who is coming in with uh, some of the lower and interestingly, some of the cheaper buffs. Um, she is coming in with the Enfeebling Foe as well as the Withering, which are both good, but for one of those, some of those lower end buffs. So definitely a bit of an interesting choice. And then uh, Marathi, of course, with her own set of spells, including Melkos Mystifying Asthma. And. A Cosmos to find Miasma, and we do have Soul Blight, so more debuffs, and then Power of Darkness. And then my opponent does have a Death Hag on foot. Uh, these guys all have significant melee attack debuffs, this could be a significant problem for me, and they are backed, of course, by four Witch Elves. Now, I do believe what my opponent is trying to go for here is a massive amount of debuffs against my armor, followed up by the Witch Elves slicing and dicing through basically everything I bring. Potentially, stacked on top of each other, Soul Blight and the, the Withering would result in my, say, Sarge Warriors, if I had brought Sarge Warriors, having zero armor. And it will definitely result in this King's having zero armor. On the flank, my opponent does have some Dark Riders with shields hidden, and these guys are going to dart in and try to get into my back line and cause some disruption. So we'll definitely see how things go. Uh, it is a very quick match, and uh, yeah, things are already kicking off. You can see I'm getting a little bit of poke damage in on the shades with the dual weapons. You can see get, getting a model pick here and there. Um, you can see we're not actually always picking off. We're not, the, their accuracy isn't actually that good, so we're not always picking off models. And you can see my opponent is actually doing uh, something interesting here. He actually decides to charge straight in with the shades rather than trying to shoot it out with me because the skinks, of course, do have shields, but they're pitiful in melee. <laughs> they're, some, they're kind of like goblins, honestly. And the shades should definitely slice and dice through these guys rather quickly. Um, they even have passable charge bonus of 18. These, my, my javelins are whittling down these shades over here. I'm trying to pull back my chameleon skinks and uh, just keep them kind of cutting my opponent, but he is pushing these dark shards into the fray. So I'm going to do is I'm going to turn Krokgar around and go after these dark riders very, very quickly. Dark riders don't have the best of melee stats, so they shouldn't do too well. Over here, though, you can see the witch elves are absolutely annihilating the skin cohort, already down to half models, essentially, and half HP, and just getting wiped out. 
Uh, you can see some debuffs going down, the Enfeebling Foe, but it's a little too late for some of my opponent's troops who are just getting smushed. Uh, and the Skin Cohort, it will help the Croc Scores tank a little bit better. Over here, we can see there was some spell going down on these Croc Scores and the uh, Skin Cohort, but they are sticking around, and uh, now they're getting hit by a Soul Blight. Over here, you can see the Death Hag is being surrounded, and these Witch Elves are getting beaten on by the Bastilodon. So definitely doing a pretty great job. You can see good old Croc cards just kind of rampaging all over the place, doing, doing great. Uh, and these Dark Riders are actually sitting tight. My opponent did get the flank off, but he has not kind of capitalized on it. I managed to tear out these guys over here. In the meantime, my Skin Chiefs are still poking at Marathi. My opponent hasn't noticed that Marathi is getting slowly but surely picked away at. You can see they're not doing a lot of damage per shot. It's about 100, maybe. But over time, it will add up, and she will eventually be a goner. And even if she does try to engage these guys, they can just poison her and run away. Over here you can see the first infantry units are really starting to kind of route. You can see Krokgar swings around once more to try to save his skink buddies over here. Mestelodon over here, uh, still tanking it out, beating up on the Dark Riders and Witch Elves and all that sort of stuff. Over here the Sorcerers of Shadow is diving in, but she's very, very lightly armored, sitting at only 10 armor. So if I decide to focus fire her, she will be annihilated very quickly. Uh, and we do, get, we do start getting some blow darts in on her. And of course, here I do try Hand of the Gods on the Wrath. Do you think I can snipe her and fail? Um, of course, the... Skinks will now be able to focus down Rathi, and Rathi should be a goner fairly quickly. Uh, she's very, very low on HP, and she does go down. You can see her little Pegasus falling down, and uh, Rathi's a goner. No more enchanting my uh, Skinks. Where your Sorcerer of Shadow is getting annihilated by Focus Fire, and the infantry down here in the pits is also being slaughtered. The Croxigors really have kind of anchored the line after the Skinks got practically annihilated. Uh, I've lost about 400 units, and most of those have been Skinks. Uh, the Sorcerer of Shadow here is getting focused down. You can see Krokgar is diving in after the uh, Dark Shards and then sw switching to the Witch Elves. I'm s I understand that he's at risk, of, of course, being hit by Madness of Cain, but he's pretty tanky. He has a decent amount of armor, and my main hope is just to tie these guys down prevent them from getting into my Chameleon Skinks. You can actually see these Chameleon Skinks are out of control because they actually got hit by Madness of Cain at some point. That's a big problem because they will try to push into melee, and of course, you don't want Chameleon Skinks in close quarters. Croc scores though, laying the smackdown on the Witch Elves. Over here, these Croc scores are getting rather beaten up, but they, I did hit them with a Revification Crystal, uh, so they should do okay against this Death Hag. Hopefully, bring her down. Uh, and uh, she is unfortunately on foot, which on one hand doesn't mean that I get that bonus against infantry, but on the other hand, does mean she has significantly higher stats uh, than usual than if she's mounted on her uh, cauldron. And that gives us a Pyrrhic victory. So definitely, that Witch Elf strat. I don't think it's necessarily bad. It completely it be meant that my infantry line basically folded like a wet paper bag. Uh, the Witch Elves just kind of crashed in and annihilated the Skinks. That said, the Skink Skirmishers managed to do some great focus fire, bringing down two of my opponent's uh, heroes, as the, or my opponent's Lord and Hero. From, and then the Skink Chiefs did a similarly good job. The Croxigors really helped anchor my line. Against this sort of composition that's very light on armor piercing, Croxigors can be absolutely brutal. Most of my opponent's armor piercing was in the form of those shades shooting, which is great and all, but against you need to be shooting, not meleeing against the croc scores. Uh, and the fact that I, the croc scores had the backing of the chameleon skinks to kind of pressure my opponent's melee into the fight uh, was very, very useful. Croc guard, of course, champ as always, uh, nothing much to say there. For my opponent, he definitely, I think, suffered from trying to micro... He had a lot of microing to do, and... Uh, Lost track of Marathi, and Marathi ended up getting focus fired by the Skink Chiefs and these uh, Chameleon Skinks. She is, of course, incre an incredibly squishy lord. Uh, she doesn't have a lot of uh, HP. She has practically no armor. I do believe it was like 40 on Sulafet. And uh, it was also a little unfortunate. My opponent didn't use her in melee, but in melee, she's actually she provides some pretty crazy buffs or debuffs in an AoE. So that, that was another thing I think my opponent. We might have been a bit afraid of Krokgar because Krokgar, of course, can brutally annihilate most large targets. But uh, nonetheless, I think that might have been a slight mistake. Uh, otherwise, nonetheless, I think this was a rather interesting build. That was kind of why I thought it was kind of cool to see. It was a bit of a thematically kind of a witch-heavy build against my skink-heavy build. Uh, the, you can see the witch elves just absolutely monstrous job. Uh, I definitely think that debuff combo that I think my opponent, I think my opponent, I could be wrong, of course, but I do believe that it was my opponent was going for a debuff combo with the Sorcerer's Shadow and Marathi, which was pretty cool. Uh, just trying to nuke down my... Uh, armor, which is I brought Sarge Warriors and all of that, get him wiped with Witch Elves really, really fast. And uh, yeah, the Dark Riders actually had a pretty good time. I was a little surprised. Dark Riders are not the best of cavalry units, uh, but they racked up 35 and 35 kills, so not terrible. Uh, the Shades had the worst time of it, I think. Some of the Witch Elves situation they had a bad time. Regardless, good game to my opponent, Morbus G. Uh, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe down below. If you have any comments, criticism, any questions about the game or anything like that, be sure to post them in the comments and I will respond as soon as I can. As usual, guys, I do appreciate you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye for now.